Hello, this is Tsukihime. Uh, welcome back to my Let's Play of the Stanley Parable. Um, last time... I can't see my feet. <laughs> last time we... Uh, um, well, we spoiled the story, I think. According to the narrator, we spoiled the story. Uh, anyway, this time... Let's start All again. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright. Hang on, I wonder if there's anything over here. Oh, that's me. Oh, it's not mirrors. Okay, I thought that was a mirror reflection. Never mind. Alright, so we go this way. And then we get to the doors. Or not. When Stan wait. Wait, what? What? No, I no, I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be Oh, did something change? Um, Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? I did nothing. Did move the story somewhere. I did nothing. Hold on. Why am I asking you? Exactly. I wrote the story. You did it. Right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then. I want to get in it's here because it's a Oh, come Stanley. Let's find the story. I'd like to get in here. Oh, oh, oh my god. All the doors opened. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Oh, I see. So The heck? Are they all connected? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Yeah, I'm sure of it just, too. Do we need to restart the game? No, again? please don't. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's oh, come be on. Than this. No, no, okay, no. Let's give come it a on. Shot. Why not? Ah. Uh. Oh, let's see what happened this time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I'm remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why so you want me to go, go back? back the other direction and see if we missed anything. All right, let's go. Um Probably should start clicking doors again cuz I don't know what's going to happen. Aha. Well, why? I knew we This is different. Something. The story. Right. Um I don't know what's going to happen. No, wait. Oh, Never mind. Hang on. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Yeah, let's let's retrace. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Um This is definitely not the office. Now this Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> Neither do is I. Is this the story? No. I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. Yeah, it, mine did too. Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? No. What do you know what? I don't know Since anything. I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing. How about this? You win! Yay! Yay! I win! I That's knew you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So Yay! Good job. Thanks. Oh no, no, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work. I did so. Some people win fair and square. And um, this was not one of those situations. Yes, it is. Okay. Let me I'm turn the door. I'm out by whatever this place is. Yeah, I, I am too. What might happen this time? I have to restart. No. Oh well. What? <laughs> All right. I've got a solution. Yeah. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. 
Do you even follow the line? How simple is that? Do we even trademark it? <laughs> Uh, Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Let's do it. This should help. Hang on a second. I'm not supposed to go in here. Um, alright, let's do it. You see? The yeah. line knows where the story is. Uh -oh. It's over in this direction. Yeah. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Yay. Though, here's a thought. Yeah. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put huh. it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Hmm. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the Where am I going? Itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. All right, I'll stop. Now we can what the hell? <laughs> that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Right. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. I lo you lost me. That got a bit weird back there. Yeah, tell me about I'd it. I'd like to apologize. Uh, that's okay. Not sure where I was going with all that. I'm not sure you either. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Right, music. All right. Oh, now I'm going on an adventure. Let's do it. What the hell? I can't. I tried. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, narrator. I can't follow the line completely. But I'm trying. <laughs> oh my god, is this necessary? Oh my <laughs> Oh my god, that was zigzagging, okay, let's do it. Oh my god, <laughs> this music is too over the top. <laughs> This music is too over the top. <laughs> oh, I gotta weave through the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm following the line. That is way too ridiculous. That music. Wait, cut the music. Oh, Go okay, back. okay. That fern. All right. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Really? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. It's green. It's a fern. It's in a flower bed that's white with a black rim. What else is there to know about it? <sighs> well, I got it imprinted into my memory. Or I think I do. Let's move on. Well, at least the music is gone. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, what? We're back at the office? We are. No, 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 line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? I don't think so. Well, let's keep, I'm gonna keep following the line, narrator. You're the one who said it was fail-safe. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, let me back no, here no, again! Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <sighs> Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Well, we're not going to follow it this time. Jeez. That was so messed up. You know what, Stanley? Uh, I say forget hmm? the Adventure Line. Yeah. It's never done for us. Exactly. We're intelligent people, right? Yeah. Why can't we make up our own stuff? That's what I've been trying Something to do. Exciting, daring, yeah. mysterious. Ooh. Ooh. This all sounds perfectly you doable. You left your computer on. You simply start wandering in. Okay. Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Which direction? Ooh. Let's do it. Now, yes, this is exciting. No Just music, me though. Just and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What, what do you want our story to be? I'm do going you around circles. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley. I'm ready for Wow, that was impossible. Okay, let's do it. 
Oh no, oh, not you again. God. Stanley, oh god, he's I coming from the ceiling. The line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Yep, no Just lines. No lines. Fine. I don't see the yellow line. I don't see it. I don't see it. Definitely not here. Definitely not here. How does that fern get involved? Jeez, oh, you went up to your ceiling. Okay. <laughs> And I'm here. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Yay. From here, the story is in our control. Yep. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Yeah. I let's do it. I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Oh, okay. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. I'm which walking. Means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go. I'm walking. There must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will take oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Lead us to where we're going. I'm getting so dizzy. If the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Are we done? Whoa. Can I go through there? No. Okay. Whoa! The confusion ending. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. The monitor hmm. room. The confusion ending. Discover the two me. doors. That's what this is. Aimless wandering. one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight, eight times? times? What? <laughs> really how all this goes? Office now dead end, turned around, early to restart, adventure line. So now according to the schedule I restart Nonsense again. philosophy and music. Am I just supposed to forget? Adventure into unexplored well, territory. I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this Fifth thing. restart. Narrator More. forgets about previous restarts. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I... I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want it to either. I don't forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Good. And the timer Shit. stopped. Does that mean um, What did, did you do? do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even office, know? Simply black space, wander well, in the blackness, find a bookstore, get bored and leave, well, narrator happened. restarts the game. So, okay. Um. I guess now we just wait. Can I sit? You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Yeah. Well, in the meantime... Oh. Jesus, that frightened me. Oh my god, I'm back here again. So does that mean I died? Wow. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Hmm. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I don't even know how long I've been recording for that one. That one was a bit on the scary side. Okay. I almost want to go into that again, just so I can get... When Stanley came okay, it is over. Okay. Doors, he entered the door on his left. I wanted to make sure it was... It was actually over. Um, wow. Uh, let me think. Hmm, where do I want to go? I'd like to know what kind of d dark secrets await in that lounge room. And what the hell did that fern have anything to do with anything? Uh. Wow, this game is completely messed up. <laughs> okay, um... Hmm. Alright, let's do it. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. 
perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hey, that line is there! Alright, let's Standing admire. now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. <laughs> then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. That's disturbing. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. What the hell? Ooh, yay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. First open door on his left. I'm gonna take it. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Now where am I going? Oh, so I'm actually back. Oh, okay, so this is the meeting room again. Yet hmm. there was not a single person here either. Different. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, let's do it. The broom closet. Oh, how I've missed you. No, oh, no, 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 no. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Duck tape! Take your time. I will. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it actually counted how many times you go in here. Does it say anything else? He doesn't say anything else, does he? <laughs> he ends up back in there again. Alright, fine. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um, actually, I'm gonna go right back downstairs again. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Nope. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Ooh, and exit. Such a competitive what economy, the? Why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Oh God, this ending. Something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Um. It made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, I'm going around in circles. When he looked down. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? They are repeating. Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I know what it was in the lounge the whole time. He yelled. Wow. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. To have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy. There must be all. some way out of this. He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying. And, began and to here I go floating. The ground. <laughs> floating. Imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Oh it was so God. much fun, and Stanley marveled. This that is still not woken up. this is trippy. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was I'm describing hoping, itself maybe. being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people Ooh. in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't Why have to Why is there a B instead of a 3? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. 
Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Oh, I stopped. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Oh no, oh, he's I dying. And everything went black. <laughs> wow. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Yeah, we've already hit this ending. Mariella I guess I'm starting to get repeats here now. Another. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Okay. So it looks like I'm getting repeat endings here now. I don't know how many endings there are to this game. I'm pretty sure there are more than what I've found. I found a confusion ending, and I repeated the... Uh, I don't know if, what kind of ending you'd call that. The running around screaming hallucination? I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to end the recording session here now because I just want to make sure make sure these uh, videos worked and all that. So this is my first time ever playing it, so I was thoroughly freaked out. <laughs> uh, my, I'm pleasantly surprised that there's been no screamers so far. Or spiders for that matter. Um, so, I guess I'll have to end it off here. Uh, next time, if there's a next time, I will uh, try to unlock a couple more endings. I have no idea what to expect. I don't think this is... I think this is uh, just the beginning of another playthrough. I'll just walk through here to find out. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed oh, to that's get a different to the words room, again. And from then on, he would never be alone ever again. All right, fine. I'll. Uh, I'm just gonna go in here and make sure the meeting room is still okay. Okay, for a second there, I thought there was only there was no rooms. A set of two open doors. Yeah, let's go to the one on the, the door left. left. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's any difference, so I'm gonna just end things off here.
So next time I will continue, hopefully, if there is a next time, I will continue to go through this and try to find a couple of more endings. Now that I'm not too thoroughly freaked out over all of the endings now, or some of them anyway. Um, anyway, this is uh, Tsukihime signing off. Time for me to press the big ol' stop record button. Have a good day.